Hi, I'm Samira Hermes reporting on Jaguar Wright's Hunger Game. Today we'll be talking about Velvet Marquette, Ex Carbonation Queen, New Queenship. Velvet Marquette, Ex Carbonation Queen, coming into her own queenship. Wow, I'm so proud of her. Velvet Marquette, once known as Nana, Eliana, and probably a few other names. She was not only a member of Carbonation Cult, but became the queen of Carbonation. While she was there, she suffered mental and physical abuse and had a beautiful little girl by the cult leader. Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, is now in DeKalb County, Georgia, jail, awaiting a trial for the R-word and false imprisonment of one of his female cult followers. That damn velvet... She's growing up and coming into her own. She talks about her still being in the process of healing, seven years of famine, seven years of harvest, and tonight being called by spirit to share. I myself is still healing um, a lot of things, you know. Um, I'm, not, I'm trying not to be too hard on myself. Because I could definitely feel stupid about a lot of things. But um, I'm choosing to, like, look at the brighter side of things. I'm choosing to take the lesson, you know, out of everything. And um, it is what it is. She's always been into spirituality and learning about life outside of the norm. She still speaks to us about spirituality. Most recently, the color blue has been a part of her life, and she shares this with us. Uh, you'll know that I made a video on my last YouTube channel called Seven Years of Harvest and Seven Years of Famine. And just recently, I had did a short on YouTube, and I didn't notice this aspect about myself until I actually made the short. And I noticed that I had... Uh, I was attracting the color blue. I see things um, as symbols. I see things in pattern. So when I saw like certain things that I had on blue, and the fact that they were all the same color, I could help but help but make the correlation to what it might have meant, you know, for me. And so when you're studying the world and all different types of knowledges and religions and stuff, you come to a conclusion that the color blue it obviously is associated with peace and tranquility and it calms the soul, it calms your mind, it calms your body. Of course, the color blue is associated. This new generation of kids seem to come out of the womb with questions and seeking understanding. It's an awesome sight to see. For many of us from the older generation, we may not understand them because we haven't opened ourselves to understanding that there is a growth cycle to everything. I love to see the young people so full of questions. She speaks of the effects of processed food and people getting land to grow their own foods, the cycles of life and her growth and losses. Until earlier today, I uh, was sitting at the table and um, my sister was reading off all of the things in the world, like the food and the and that's being processed and put in our grocery stores. She was reading off everything that was being recalled. How I, I mentioned the video that I made seven years of harvest and seven years of famine because that's what was shown to me today and resonated with me in my heart to talk about. So briefly, when I made that video, I was talking about how we needed to be focused on doing certain things like getting land and growing our own food, etc. She also talks about how her life experiences have helped her, running away from experiences, not holding on to things that don't serve you, but knowing how to eliminate those things responsibly. As she spoke about being responsible, my dear friend, in my mind, Jaguar Wright comes to mind. And I think about how she could learn from this young lady. Come into your life for the betterment of who you are. And 
what's hard might what's hard to do might be necessary for you to do and you might have to make great sacrifices to become a better person and to create a peaceful healed environment around you i don't necessarily feel that we are obligated as people to hold on to things that don't serve us like just because you have a child with him just because you have a child with her just because you signed your name on the lease just because you contracted yourself into certain things doesn't mean that you have to stay now it's a certain way that you get out of it don't get that messed up you know what i'm saying because you don't want to just drop a lease or drop a car note or something like that when you know it's going to affect you in a negative way so you want to be able to tie up your loose strings and what i was really impressed with is velvet's coming to the knowledge of the importance of spiritual sovereignty. You see, being spiritual sovereign can keep you out of a cult. You got a lot of spiritualists out here who think that, who think that um, um, moving outside of the United States jurisdiction and being in a tropical environment is what needs to happen. You know, you have a lot of spiritualists out there who think that if you change your scenery, then you're holier than thou. And that's far from it. A lot of times we go searching for spiritual knowledge and find someone who knows something we don't know and begin to look up to them. Before we know it, we're latching on to their every word. Then we begin to believe every word they say then we begin to stop thinking for ourselves. And before we know it, we are no longer following our own spiritual path. We are following the path of the person who we have made God. Velvet, I'm so proud of you for recognizing this and sharing it with others. Just the understanding of this ideology alone could be instrumental in helping the next person to stay out of a cult. Dear Velvet, I'm proud to see your growth, young lady. And please know that most of us do not hate you. We, including myself, was upset because we kept seeing you make the same mistake over and over. But look at you now. You're still young. You're not 46 like Miss Jaguar and out there on that hamster wheel of irresponsibility. You're growing and we can see it. I'm glad you brought up processed food for the younger generation to hear. They'll never listen to me. Yes, processed foods are eliminating us. And I will go a bit further in saying processed foods and carbs. You know, our obesity rate has moved from 13% in the 60s to up to 41% in 2023. Obesity is causing diabetes, high blood pressure, and many more ailments in our community. And most people see it as a conspiracy theory. They don't make the connection between the pharmaceutical companies, education, law, and sickness in our community. When you spoke of bam being bamboozled and your lack of discernment at the time, I saw real growth in you. You know, sometimes being young, we are so absorbed with the fantasy of what we want until we choose to overlook the reality of it all. I say we choose because I know somewhere in the back of your mind, AKA your higher self, saw how he handled his last relationship, but you thought it would be different. You saw the transient type of lifestyle, but you ignored your higher self, but you gained a tremendous learning experience that hopefully you will not have to relive. I have nothing more to say other than I'm proud to see your growth. This is a not-for-profit donation-free zone. Over and out.